Okay, everybody, welcome back to another Sims video hosted by yours truly, the Shadow King. I'm probably going to change that name. I don't know why I keep using that intro. But I'm doing a shell challenge here posted by, uh, it was Little Simsy. Little Simsy is the one who posted it. I take a second to kind of read through the rules. And I've never actually done a shell challenge before. But they're fairly simple. You can't change any of the pre existing walls. I can add walls. I can add in I can add interior walls, I can add porches, fences, but I cannot change anything pre existing. Uh first thing there I forgot my BB move objects was on. Because I had been doing a build earlier. Um, so I kinda take a minute fiddle with the porch I want to add. Realize I can't quite move it into place like I wanted to, which was very frustrating. So I just move on to kind of fencing, see if I can at least block it off. And I can't get the fence to attach either, which again, irritating. I do find a fix for that later though. Uh, for those holes, I ended up making them like making them look like little planter boxes, adding some little flowers in there. So they just have a little cute color to them. I do end up going with a hedge and fencing off the entire back with the hedge. <laughs> I have a little issue there and connecting it to the fence that already exists so it doesn't look too out of too off it still looks off you can see the little gap there and then i spend an absolute eternity trying to decide what i'm doing with this roof and for the life of me i cannot figure out what i'm doing or how to do it i go through so many different options i i suck at using the rounded or hexagon roof pieces. Um, so I go through so many different options here and you can see me trying all these different options trying to find something that's gonna fit and look halfway decent. Eventually I end with one big circle which I knew was gonna have a bit of an overlap but I figured, oh, it can be, it overhangs, so it covers the door a little bit when you're coming in from the rain kind of deal. I do finally decide I need to make it one tile bigger to fit properly. And then decide to make that back porch roofed. Which, to me, that looks like a spaceship. But, <laughs> was it the original design, but to me it looks like a spaceship. I'd also decided, or not decided, realized I'd been playing in with uh, nighttime lighting. Because this is being built in my legacy challenge save. And realized I should probably turn it to day so that way you can actually see things properly. Which, <laughs> I don't know why I didn't do that sooner. I ended up with this kind of uh, greenish color on the outside. And then this orange, brown, and kind of neutral whites and tans on the inside. I really wasn't sure what color to go with. Typically if I have a sim that I'm basing it off of, I can pick a color easier but this one was eh let's just do it neutral cuz I like it's a house being staged to sell um, I was able to work in a small little kitchen that actually I'm really happy with how the sizing of all this came out cuz I was able to get in the kitchen living room dining room a bedroom and a decent sized bathroom slash the laundry room because for some reason I decided to make it harder on whoever's uh, can actually be in this house and put in a laundry room of all things but got some little bar space there uh, obviously the little dining room area and none of it's too big or fantastic but I did end up spending a lot more than I thought I was at about 30 33 or 36 thousand so, spent a bit more than I thought. But, in the end, I was really happy with how this came out. Especially doing this for a uh, Little Simsy shell challenge, because she was probably one of my biggest influences and inspirations. Still is. I love her videos. I love watching what she does. And so, when I saw she posted the shell challenge, I got so excited to actually be able to do one of her cell challenges for once. Because I was never confident enough in my skills to actually do the shell challenges 
that anyone posted. But I decided, you know what? This will be fun. So I did end up posting one. Oh, yeah, two in the bedroom. Realize, bed ain't gonna fit in there, neither will anything else for a bedroom. So I kind of fiddle with my sizing. I wish I could have kept the desk where it was, but it's not too bad there. There's still plenty of space for Sims to walk around, and in the end, it's not a bad layout. It's an awkward layout, in my opinion, but it's not bad. The bedroom is definitely probably the most awkward, though, to me. Mainly because it is not how I would want to set up my room at all. But it's what fit, it's what worked. But the only dresser I had uh, access to that would fit it was from the uh, Dream Home Decorator Pack. And I don't think it matches the rest of the house. Like, color-wise, yeah, it's fine. But the actual dresser itself does not match. Because, like, this dresser spent a minute trying to get it to fit right. Nothing really seemed to fit. So I decided, okay, we'll try the Dream Home Decorator. Look through the colors. Yeah. I decided, probably nice. Put some art on the walls. So I ended up with some pastels and nature stuff. I thought looked nice. Which, in the end probably was a nice little touch for the pastels and nature scenes especially since it's a pastel pink room I really wasn't sure about my choice of walls and then thought that was funny that it treated the entire house like one room when you tried to do it by room which got a little tedious doing wall by wall but oh well I didn't end up going with that flooring specifically because it wasn't too dark or too light and I really like the wood patterning on it. Probably could have used a cheaper shower but eh. It ends up working and it ends up looking pretty nice. Probably could have used a cheaper rug too for that. I don't know why I always use that rug as a bath mat and it's a from what I remember, a fairly expensive rug to use for that. But I spent a minute kind of decorating and fiddling with the bathroom. Trying to add just nice little details and stuff to it. And then... Oh no! I think I forgot that that... Um, that I had put that uh, robe there because that's where the washer and dryer ends up and I think I completely forgot that the robe was there. Yeah, because I don't ever move the robe. <laughs> I, oh, I, I'm smart. I did end up moving the door over so I could fit it in there, uh, the washer and dryer in there, but I completely forgot that robe was on the wall. So it's probably still behind that washer and dryer, you know, being a fire hazard. <laughs> I ended up putting in some um, upper cabinets, which I probably didn't need. But I figured it'd make more sense to have a couple there where we could fit them. Though they, I don't really like the looks of them now looking back on it. And then I did put in the exhaust fan for our little oven and stove there. I made sure we had a fire detector and a thermostat. And then again, I spent forever choosing a backsplash for the kitchen. And then when I actually put it up, you basically cannot see it. So I don't know why I spent all that time looking for it. You can't tell it's there. Uh, got some nicer picks on some of the outdoor stuff, a uh, little gardening area with the garden scarecrow. Once I found the scarecrow. Or, no, I got the bird feeder first, then the scarecrow. Oh, no, I guess I did the scarecrow a bit later. I thought I did it pretty quick after I placed those down. Oh. 
realized I didn't have any lights up next to my door, so I went ahead and put those on. Which, those are something I forget in so many builds. I like having them, but I never remember them. <laughs> Same with the outdoor trash. I normally remember the indoor trash, but I would never remember that outdoor trash can. <laughs> ah, here's where I add in the scarecrow. And the chickens. Because I thought, yeah, give them something to do in the backyard. A few chickens won't be too bad. Figured maybe some stargazing would probably be nice too. I don't know. I didn't really have an exact inspiration for the house. I just kind of went with what felt right. And then we get to the landscaping. I am terrible. I mean terrible at landscaping. I, I, I have no business doing it. But I decided I'd go ahead and give it a bit more of a try. See what I could come up with. And I don't think it looked terrible. But I'm, I'm not... I don't think I'm that good at landscaping. But I don't think it came out as bad as I'm thinking. And then, yeah, spent forever trying to figure out plants here. Which I, I realized when I was doing the tour video that you'll see in a minute that those are sticking away from the wall a bit further than I meant for them to, so I kind of adjust them back. And I kind of adjust the color scheme on everything. And then I probably should have just made it match on this side, but instead I just did this kind of grass clump wrap around here. From here I made a few more last second changes, uh, just added on the last bit of floral, uh, added on a little bit more decoration with the final tree. As I was giving everything a final once over, uh, I ended up naming it the Simple Life I think is what I ended up naming it. Yeah, Simple Life. And then as I was giving it the last look over I noticed I had messed up the roofing a little bit. So I fixed that real quick before I ended it to do the tour video. I hope you enjoy the tour. Alright everybody, I guess let's get on to the tour for The Simple Life. Um, I didn't really expect the video I originally made to be this long, so I'm going to go ahead and do a quick tour video because I'm probably going to speed up the other video so it's not an hour long. Oh, whoops. Because, yeah, it ended up taking me like an hour to make it. But there's not much to this. Ah, I've just got the little TV room here. My little, very little kitchen, but I think everything there should work. Dining room, uh, computer, the beautiful little bedroom, our bathroom and laundry, because I got ambitious and decided to shove laundry in this thing. Uh, the back deck with its grill, planter boxes, the scarecrow to guard, their chickens. Uh, tree. Like I said, there's not really much to this and I'm not quite sure. Oh, I am going to actually go ahead and move those back a little bit. I didn't realize how far off those were. Like I said, there's not much to it, but I hope you all enjoy. Bye.